Hey folks, this is Max. Welcome to another video. So this week I published this blog post on how to import users from Google Sheets into your organization. And so in this video, I'm going to show you now, uh, actually I'm going to import the template and we're going to set it up and see how, how it runs. Okay. So let's do, let's go to workflows and I have it right here. Now, this is uh, this is the template that I already have pre-configured, but I'm going to import a new uh, version. So we'll go to templates, and then you can search here, import users from Google Sheets, okay? And then it has a description. So why this is a uh, why this is important is, for example, if you have contractors or some other people who need, uh, perhaps, will be joining your company. You know, you can put them in a um, CSV file or Google Sheets file document and then create uh, a workflow or just use this template and then import them and then create accounts for them, you know, uh, automatically. So, for example, you could run this every week. Uh, let's say it's like 6 in the morning, um, as you can see here. So every Monday at 6 a.m., okay? Uh, so that's why this is a very helpful uh, flow that you can use. Okay. Now to add a to add this to your dashboard, uh, click Add Template, and then it just tells you how many flows it's going to add. Add, add Template. Okay, and we have it right here. Now it has two flows. It has the parent flow and the child flow. So let's open the parent flow. All right, so this is how it looks. So you can see right here, the first card uh, is the schedule flow. So this is allows you to schedule the flow to run periodically. Now, if you click this little clock icon, it's already, uh, the schedule is already set. And as I shared, it's 6 a.m. Uh, Pacific time every Monday. But of course, you can change it if you want. All right, so the next step here, so also these cards, these note cards, they're just comments just to help you understand how the flow works. Now, so the first card is read all rows. So we're uh, connecting to Google Sheets document and we're loading all the information, all the rows from that document. Okay, so you do need to set a connection. So let's create, choose connection. And I already have an existing connection, actually two, but you can, you can always create a new one. I'm gonna select this one. All right, let's click save here. Sometimes it just takes a few seconds to load. Let's do this again. Oh, option, here we go. Okay, here we go. Now, so this shows all the spreadsheets that I have. And the one I want is users, importing users from Sheets template. And then what's the worksheet? So mine is just a default name. All right. And then it reads the columns. Let me click save here. And again, you can, if needed, you can sort of check or uncheck stuff. And then this is how it looks. Now, one important thing, let me show you how the actual uh, worksheet looks. It looks like this. So it has four columns. Now the column names need to match. So it has to be username, first name, last name, uh, and email. So just, just make sure that this is matches. And I have three sample users here. All right, so we're reading all the rows from, from the document. And then the next step is we're uh, calling the helper flow uh, using the list for each. So we're gonna pass each row to the helper flow and we're gonna create a new user uh, based on the information in that row, okay? So again, uh, we can see we're passing a row and this is for each. So there was kind of a loop. We'll iterate over every row in the, every row that we loaded. And then it's gonna call this flow and we can open it here. So this is the helper flow. Uh, we can see that it's being passed that row over which we're iterating right now. And then it's being passed to object get multiple. So what this does is that it actually picks multiple uh, properties. So we get a JSON object. And if you want to see how it looks, if I scroll in the blog post. Um, so this is how it looks. So it gets this JSON and then it picks this information like the the, uh, the last name, the username, the first name and the email. 
So that's what uh, this uh, card does. Okay, so it picks those uh, multiple properties. And then the last step is it uh, passes all this information to Okta create user card. And again, I'm going to set a connection here. All right, and you can see how the connections are, are, are already set here. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. So when you go to options, so there are a couple of options that this was without credentials, but you can see there are other options. Um, if you need to create these users in a particular group, let's say, again, these are contractors and you need to put them in a group uh, where all the contractors are, of course, you can do that as well. All right, let's save. All right, let's save and actually save here, let's save again. Now we do need to turn the flow on, uh, otherwise it's not gonna work. And let's go back, let's go back here. And then we're also gonna turn the parent flow on. I think we opened it, that's all right. Oh, you know what? My connection, let me, let me just exit here. Well, let me go back. Let me go. I forgot to click save. Yeah, I said the connection, but I forgot to click save. Uh, just too, too many tabs here. Let me close this tab and go back. All right. So this is the parent flow. Let's enable this. Let me just open it quickly just to make sure. So everything is set here. I go back and then the connection is set here. Okay. Now we can now run this. We can test this. Now we're not going to wait for Monday, six in the morning, but we can open this and we can click test. All right, so let's see, it's running. And this is the for each. And then if I go to the child flow and go to flow history, we can see it actually it was um, run three times, which which is correct because I have three three users. Okay, now I can check if I go to my admin. So this is my admin, and then I've already have some users. But if I refresh, I should have three more users. And I actually do, and we can see there also. If I go to staged, so these are the users that were just created. All right. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's all for this for this template. Again, um, you know, I showed you how to import the template. You do need to set connections to uh, you know to Google Sheets, and then for for the Okta, um, and then you need to make sure that you have this this format, um, and then that's it. Just schedule, or you can, of course, you can manually run this this as well. Um, so I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching and I will see you next time.